What's up, everyone? How's everyone doing today? We got James Reyes here. That's me. Um, super excited about this video. I'm going to make a video on what cars are accepted and not accepted on StarStock.com. Um, I get this video quite a bit, or I get this question quite a bit. Uh, thought I'd make a video because I know this was a big question for myself as well when uh, when I was going ahead and getting organizing for some of the cards that I had to send to StarStock. Um, super excited about this video. Um, I'm going to actually be doing a, a lot of different videos here today. Um, you're going to be seeing me wearing, repping my Cincinnati gear here today in these videos. Um, and just going to, just going to knock out a, a lot of, um, shorter videos on star stock and a few other things where it's going to be very specific to, to one topic. So it's, um, so it's all in, you know, it's a shorter one where you don't have to sit sit here and listen to me ramble for, you know, hours and hours talking about star stock. So I'll break them up in, in little pieces where um, if you just have a question about one specific, then you can watch it and, and save some time. And, uh, but other than that, I'm super excited about this. If you guys don't mind, please uh, go ahead and subscribe and like this video if you don't mind. Um, also, um, I have an Instagram where I have a lot of content where it's star stock investor. Go ahead and, and uh, go over there as well if you want. And I'm very active on there. So a lot of content on there. Um, if you guys ever have any questions, DM me on there. I, I try and answer every question I can on there, every message. Um, but other than that, also, actually, you know what? I'm going to also have another video on how I basically organize my cards. Um, as you can see here, it looks like it's chaos, which it is chaos. Um, but I like to say it's controlled chaos because um, with all the cards everywhere, I have certain sections of where I put my cards at because I'm going to be sending them to all these different things like consignment um, to, to list on eBay, um, star stock, you know, um, if I'm holding them, how I'm organizing them. So I'll do videos on that too, as well. Um, I'm, what I like to do is any, any questions that I've ever had in the past or have now, um, I know, you know, probably there'll be someone else uh, in the industry that will have that same question. So I'm going to do a video to, to see if I can help some people out and, and save them some time and um, create as much fun for the industry as possible and um, hopefully create some efficiencies that will allow uh, allow you to make some some extra cash. So um, we'll jump right into this. Um, I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and share my screen. So what, um, what I'm about to do is you're going to see um, exactly on uh, the website from starstock.com. So here's starstock.com. Another thing, if you haven't made an account with starstock.com yet and you want to, go ahead and um, I have a promo card for you, a promo code for you to get a free $5. So if you use the promo code SS Investor, which I'm going to have in the description below so you can, uh, so you can see it there and, and go ahead and use that promo card to get, get, you, get you some free money and uh, get you a free investment. So i um, super excited for anyone that, that is new to Starstock and, and any questions that you have throughout the, the video, or really anything, any time in your experience of Starstock, feel free to, to shoot me over a message on my Instagram or here. Um, I'd love to help. And if I can't help you, I, I might know someone that might be able to help you. So, uh, but other than that, we'll get started. Um, okay, so let's start right from the, right from the start. So we have here um, something new that they have is what they call a star stock fast pass, which is basically what it is. I'm just, you know, it's, it's an accelerated card submission program for newly released card sets. Um, and that's me reading right off the website there. Uh, they're guaranteeing qualifying. They're guaranteeing the qualifying cards below uh, will be uploaded and on your collection on the, on the website. So you'll be able to see them in your collection there within two business days. That's pretty fast. Um, I don't know anyone else in the industry that's doing that. Come see. I, I don't even think you could pay them two hundred dollars for them to to do that. Um, you know, they're, they're more of a, a six month type of plan type of people. Um, but that's a whole different story. I can't. Come see has been driving me up a wall. But uh, here we go. So this card sets that are qualifying for fast pass. You have your twenty twenty Donruss football. 2020 Mosaic Football, 2020 Optic Preview Football, and they're going to be uh, op 2020 Optic and Prism Football will be qualifying once released. That's really exciting. Um, 
Prism is going to be releasing November 18th. I'm pumped for that. That's like a holiday. Anytime Prism comes out, football or basketball, it's like a holiday for me. Um, I usually buy a couple cases and rip them and uh, make a day out of it. It's usually, oh man, it's a lot of fun. So um, what I'm probably going to be doing is sending quite a bit of my cards to Starstock for this fast pass um, because I'm going to want to move the, a lot of those cards as soon as possible. Um, so I can hopefully go ahead and buy some more product because I'm feeling Prism football is going to is going to skyrocket here just like um, just like it did for basketball. So um, hopefully I can buy back in as soon as I can. So uh, I'm going to do a video actually on 2020 Prism football be, uh, before the release and then after after the release and uh, give you some of my thoughts and, and some strategic plans that I'm doing ahead of, uh, ahead of time um, in preparing for that. But other than that, that's a huge value this star stock fast pass, because honestly, when, uh, when new cards get released, you know, they usually sell for quite a bit the first, you know, five days, um, just because they're new, everyone wants them. Maybe people are buying, you know, paying a little extra for them. Um, but you can go ahead and get them on your account and get them sold pretty fast. So that's really cool. Um, that's really exciting. So, and then also insert cards. So it's looking like they're not accepting any insert cards, which I'm fine with. Um, I usually, you know, all my answer cards, I usually just put in a dollar box or I hand them out to the kids or, you know, something, um, give them away. Um, Cause there's not really much value in those just because, you know, you could have a really good player, like a rookie insert of, of a player. And it's just, it just doesn't sell for that much. So, um, you know, obviously there's the one-offs, you know, if you're talking about, you know, you're the bronze and, and stuff like that, but the majority of it, they, you know, they don't sell well. So I'm kind of glad that they're off the site because then they can focus on more of the, the cards that matter. So we can get those ones uploaded and, and get those sold as fast as possible. Also it allows um, new investors to come in and really have like a, um, a clean list of cards that, you know, let's say they know a player is going to do well, but they don't necessarily know cards very well. It gives them a clean list of cards for them to buy and not have to worry, am I buying the right one? So they really just have to worry about buying the player. Like, okay, if you know this player is going to be good, but maybe you don't know cards, just buy whatever cards of that player on Starstock and you're going to be fine because Starstock's only going to have, you know, the, the, the sets that actually matter. So um, I think that makes a pretty cool play as well um, with what they're doing there. So very interesting. Um, so let's go to NBA. So what NBA cards are... Um, what they'll accept. So remember, Star Stock's only gonna is only gonna accept rookie cards. So you know all everything you'll see below is all it's gonna be all rookie cards. So they're gonna accept all rookies of Prism, Optic, Select, Mosaic, Donruss, Prism Draft, NBA hoops if they're graded. So if they're not graded, they will not accept them. Remember that. Um, that's cool. Uh, Tops Bowman, so 2012 um, Tops and Bowman, so 2012 and earlier rookie cards. So they're you know only send in um, rookies of that of 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 that year. So that's interesting. So like your LeBron James, um, your LeBron James card stuff like that. They're gonna accept. I actually sold. I actually have a Bowman LeBron on there, and I sold a Tops Chrome. Uh, er, earlier this year or a couple months ago on star stock. Um, I think they have a couple on there now. So definitely pretty cool about that. National treasures. I love national treasures, uh, origins. I, I think origins is a really cool set immaculate. Um, and then, uh, so any other Panini brands they'll accept as long as they're autos and number rookie cards only. So don't be, you know, other than that, don't send anything else. Uh, that's Panini. Um, and then they don't accept anything else that's not Panini brands besides the Topps Bowman that, uh, you know, that before 2012 and earlier rookie card. So, so cool. No, I like that. That makes it easy. Um, another thing, you know, well, before we get into the NFL cards here, what I like to do is I print off um, a sheet of all like basically the cards that they, they will accept just so I have it in front of me because you know for me I'm, I'm sorting cards I'm usually watching like um, some kind of sports game while I'm doing it or, or something you know or watching uh, a break or um, where you know I could easily get distracted but I'll have these sheets in front of me 
Um, and then I know exactly, oh, if I have to double check, will they accept this? Boom, yep. And then um, that will help with the, you know, with how many rejects I'm getting sent home from StarStock. Um, so that's definitely really cool. Um, let me see here, what's next? So NFL. So NFL, they only accept skilled position rookie cards. Um, keep that, in, like, remember that. So only skilled player, only skilled position players. So they're gonna accept skilled position player rookie cards of Prism, Optic, um, Select, Mosaic, Donruss, Prism Draft, Tops Bowman, 2015 and earlier, rookie skill position cards only, National Treasures, Origins, Immaculate, other Panini brands, autos or numbered skill position rookie cards only, and no other Panini brand or uh, no other uh, um, cards that are not Panini besides the Tops and the Bowman. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, so th that's kind of like the NBA. So, you know, their NBA basically list is, I think it's the exact same as their NFL list. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're sorting cards. Like I highly re uh, recommend printing this off and putting it in front of you. Just to make it easy because there'll be times where you just have a brain fart and you might need a, to double check. So um, awesome. MLB cards. Okay. So Bowman. So all Bowman, so the Bowman, Bowman Chrome, Bowman Draft. So, you know, as, as everyone knows, there's the three different sets of Bowman that they release every year. The Bowman Prospects, which is usually like in March. Bowman Chrome, which is usually, I think, like in uh, like in September. Yeah, it's usually in September. And then uh, Bowman Draft is usually like the beginning of December. Um, so all those, they're going to accept Chrome, and Chrome first. That's it. Um, so definitely remember that. Top Series 1, Top Series 2, Tops Update, Tops Chrome, Tops Heritage, and other Tops brands, autos and number rookie cards only. And no other, so they're not accepting anything that's not Tops, which Bowman is Tops. So they're only going to accept Tops and Bowman, but Bowman is Tops, not to get that confused with, uh, with everyone. But um, so no Panini, don't be sending Panini, um, any Panini baseball cards to star stock. It will not be uploaded and it'll be sent to you, sent back to you and just save the time and, and uh, don't do that. So cool. No, I like that. So for me, you know, I, I'm going to be, I like that because it's a clean list. Those are, you know, honestly, I'm the only cards I'm buying are Bowman, you know, the three Bowman sets, Chrome first. Those are the only ones I'm buying. Top series two, one and two I'm buying, update and Chrome. Other than that, I'm not buying any baseball, you know, all these other sets anyways. Like I'm not buying any Panini baseball. Um, so to me, that's, that's awesome. I like that. I like that a lot, how they're keeping it clean. Um, so that's, that's awesome. Um, also with, with baseball. So they're not going to be accepting very much of the uh, Bowman paper. So keep that in mind. They do accept some Bowman paper. And um, on the bottom of this, I believe that they have a, an ex explanation of that. And I'll get to that to the end. So just stay tuned for like another 45 seconds and I'll go over that for you as well. Um, for soccer, I don't know anything about soccer yet. I have some videos coming up. Actually, I have one here today um, that I'll upload. Uh, I'm going to be having some people come on and talk soccer cards with me. Hopefully educate me. Um, I have bought some some soccer so I do have a lot of soccer. I just don't know anything about it. So I'm buying just like the, you know, the big name players and, and kind of just sitting on them. I've been buying them for, for a while now, actually, um, you know, from even from last year, um, I bought actually someone's collection that had a lot of basketball and it had a huge amount of soccer cards in it. And I just kept the soccer and sold the basketball. Um, but anyways, these are the players. So there's, a, it's going to be different for soccer for right now is they're going to accept certain players and then certain players, you know, and like certain cards of those players. So if you're a soccer fan, just look at this list before, before you send any cards in um, to save you some time. Um, the only guys that I know on this list are, I know this guy, I bought some cards of this guy. I don't know anything about him. I know this guy, he's a uh, He's from, he's a French guy that is really good, apparently. Um, well, I hope he's really good because I bought some expensive cards of him. So um, hopefully he's good. And then Christian uh, Pulsic, I think is how they say his name. 
I know him because he's from uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania. This dude's gonna be a this dude's gonna be good. I mean, coming from someone that I don't that doesn't know soccer, so don't hold too much weight to that. But what I've been what I've been told, this dude is really good. And I like the uh, you know everything checks the box. He's gonna be playing in the 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 World Cup for USA, and I know USA. You know everyone goes nuts for the World Cup. It seems like he's going to be the, you know, the, the one to buy during that time. So I'm stockpiling this guy up now in just summer 2021. Um, I'm just unleash him and, and hopefully make a lot of good money from that. So um, I'll have some videos on that. Other than that, if you're a soccer person, definitely, uh, definitely print this list off and, and go from there. Um, I don't want to give too many details on it because I'm not the expert. Oh, yeah. Jaden Sancho. I've seen that name. Um, sorry, not to go off track. Down here at the bottom, NFL cards. We only accept skill position players of QBs, running backs, receivers, and tight ends. So that's what skill position players mean. If you're a kicker um, or a punter or, you know, an O-lineman or something like that and you played and, you know, you're really mad at seeing that, um, you know, I, hey, I believe you have skill too. Um, it's just something that, you know, what they call the skill positions, but all these, all the other positions, I know you have skill. So don't be coming at me for that. So um, yeah. So those are the cards they'll accept for Bowman. We're only accepting Chrome version of uh, first prospects. So non first prospect cards and rookie uh, rookie logo cards are not accepted at this time. So we are not accepting, or uh, we are not accepting any paper prospects outside of the three to four players in each set. So basically just like the big name players for paper. So if, if they're not a big name player, don't bother sending them in. So like your Wander Franco's um, at the, like right now, the Louis Robert's like stuff like that. Um, you can send those in, but if you're talking like, you know, your the stretch, you know, kind of the, the players that, you know, you, they, you think they're going to be really good, which they might be. Um, but for right now, if they're not on that top of that list, don't send them in because they won't be uploaded and they'll just be sent right back to you anyway. So save yourself some time. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for now. I'm going to uh, make this video pretty short um, and cut it off here. But if you like it, uh, like this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, like I said earlier, I'm going to have a lot of great videos coming up here on Starstock and they're going to make them short, make them very specific. Um, but if you guys have any other questions or, or want me to make videos on anything else, feel free to, to drop it in the comments or shoot me a message. Um, you can shoot me, shoot me a message on Instagram at Starstock Investor. I'm very active on there and I want, I want people's advice on, on different content. And, or if you want to make a video, I'm down for that as well. So I'm going to be making videos with, with certain people in the industry and, and talking different things where creating some dialogue and, um, yeah, and, and get some other opinions out there. Because, you know, my biggest thing in this industry is get as many as opinions as you can and then make, you know, make your decision on those opinions. So um, definitely a lot of fun. And if you guys need anything, feel free to, to reach out and, um, thank you again for, for watching this video and uh, hopefully every, everyone has a great day. Um, if you haven't signed up for star stock yet and you want a free $5, uh, there's a promo code in the description below. Uh, just type it in, just type in SS investor when you're, when you're signing up for star stock and, uh, in the, like for the promo code and you'll get that free $5. Uh, it, you, you do have to deposit money yourself to be able to get that five dollars um you know because you know they my guess is that they want you to to be involved in the account and not just going there for the five dollars like actually be involved in in buying and selling some cards because once you get once you get on the site and you actually get rolling on it you're gonna love it um i'm a big collector and i'm i'm switching everything over there so like all these cards you see back here they're all going to be going to star stock hopefully one day if i can get sorted through all of them so uh, other than that everyone has a great day and uh yeah i'll see you guys see ya